Air travel remains one of the safest modes of transportation, but the idea of flying with the same ease as driving a car seems like a fantasy even for experienced pilots. Operating an aircraft is a highly complex endeavor, demanding rigorous training, technical proficiency, and a deep sense of responsibility to ensure safety and navigate difficult conditions. While some airplanes are surprisingly easy to fly, requiring little more than mastering movement along a third axis, up and down, for basic straight and level flight, others are notoriously challenging. Without specialized training and advanced skills, piloting these aircraft could lead to disaster. From jets that soar at three times the speed of sound to those that can move to the moon, here are the 10 most difficult aircraft to fly. B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber The B-2 Spirit is a heavy strategic and multi-role bomber developed by Northrop for the United States Air Force. Designed with low observable stealth technology and a distinctive subsonic flying wing configuration, it was built to penetrate heavily defended airspace while evading radar detection. With a two-person crew, the B-2 remains the only operational aircraft capable of carrying large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration. Powered by four General Electric F, 118 GE100 turbofan engines, the B-2 can operate at altitudes of up to 50,000 feet and has an unrefueled range of approximately 6,000 nautical miles. It features two internal bomb bays capable of carrying up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance, allowing it to conduct precision strike missions with a variety of payloads. The aircraft is equipped with an advanced avionics suite, including a fully digital navigation system integrated with terrain-following radar and GPS, ensuring both mission effectiveness and operational safety. Due to its flying wing design, the B-2 lacks traditional stabilizing surfaces, making it inherently unstable. To compensate, pilots rely on a sophisticated fly-by-wire system that continuously adjusts flight controls, ensuring stability and maneuverability particularly during extended missions. U-2 Dragon Lady The U-2 Dragon Lady is a high-altitude, single-engine reconnaissance aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and built by Lockheed. Designed for all-weather, day and night intelligence gathering, it provides critical imagery and signals intelligence across all phases of conflict, from peacetime surveillance to large-scale hostilities. Powered by a lightweight and fuel-efficient General Electric F-118-101 engine, the U-2 can reach speeds of 410 miles per hour and has an impressive range of over 6,090 nautical miles. Its long, narrow wings give it glider-like characteristics, enabling it to lift heavy sensor payloads to extreme altitudes and sustain extended flight durations at over 70,000 feet. Operating in near-space conditions, it has an extremely thin margin for error. Its bicycle-style landing gear and high-aspect ratio wings make landings especially challenging, requiring precise handling. Additionally, Forward visibility from the cockpit is limited due to the aircraft's extended nose and tail dragger configuration. These demanding flight characteristics have earned the U-2 its reputation as one of the most difficult aircraft in the world to pilot. F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor is a twin-engine, all-weather, supersonic stealth fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. Originally designed for air superiority, it also integrates ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence capabilities. Equipped with a highly advanced sensor suite, the F-22 allows pilots to detect, track, and engage air-to-air -air threats before being spotted. In addition to its dominance in aerial combat, it has also been utilized for strike missions and electronic surveillance. The F-22's design blends stealth with aerodynamic efficiency, featuring clipped diamond-like delta wings, carefully aligned panel edges, and advanced flight control surfaces, including leading-edge flaps, flaperons, and rudders. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 turbofan engines, it can reach speeds of Mach 2 with afterburners and has a ferry range exceeding 1,600 nautical miles. 
Its high cruise speed and altitude enhance sensor effectiveness, improve weapon system performance, and increase survivability against ground-based defenses. As a fifth-generation stealth fighter, the F-22 incorporates cutting-edge avionics, thrust vectoring engines, and super maneuverability. However, piloting the aircraft demands exceptional skill, requiring mastery of its complex systems, high-G maneuvers, and stealth management, making it one of the most challenging fighters to operate. Harrier Jump Jet the Harrier Jump Jet is a single-engine fighter bomber and the first aircraft to achieve vertical takeoff and landing capabilities developed by Hawker Siddeley. Its ability to hover mid-air and fly at low speeds made it a highly versatile platform, particularly effective for precision strikes and evasive low-altitude operations to avoid radar detection. The Harrier has the capacity to operate from small aircraft carriers and makeshift airfields, proved invaluable especially in remote combat zones like the South Atlantic. Deployed in major conflicts such as the Falklands War, the Gulf War, and the war in Afghanistan, the Harrier performed both ground attack and air defense missions. It is powered by a Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine, which utilizes rotatable exhaust nozzles to divert thrust downward for vertical takeoff. Despite its advantages, the Harrier is notoriously difficult to fly. Its vertical or short takeoff and landing capabilities require pilots to master complex hover control, which is counterintuitive compared to conventional fixed-wing aircraft. Balancing thrust, control inputs and stability during transitions between vertical and horizontal flight demands exceptional skill, making the Harrier one of the most challenging jets to operate. MiG-29 Fulcrum The MiG-29 is a twin-engine supersonic fighter aircraft developed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Design Bureau. Originally designed for air superiority, many variants have been adapted as multi-role fighters, equipped with a range of air-to-surface weapons and precision munitions for diverse combat roles. Powered by two Klimov RD-33 turbofan engines, the MiG-29 can reach speeds of up to 1,667 miles per hour at high altitudes. While primarily intended for air defense, it is also capable of executing ground attack missions. As the Soviet Union's first fourth-generation fighter, it features hydraulic controls and a SAU-451-3 axis autopilot, enabling exceptional instantaneous and sustained turn performance, high angle of attack maneuvers, and resistance to spins. Constructed mainly from aluminum with some composite materials, the MiG-29's airframe is designed for durability and agility. The cockpit layout includes a conventional center stick and left-hand throttle controls, supporting a ferry range of approximately 930 nautical miles. Despite its impressive agility and high thrust-to-weight ratio, the aircraft demands skilled handling, as improper control inputs can lead to spins or stalls. Additionally, its engines are highly sensitive to foreign object debris, requiring careful maintenance and operational awareness. V-22 Osprey The V-22 Osprey is an American multi-role tilt-rotor aircraft designed by Bell Helicopter, combining the capabilities of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed performance of a turboprop airplane. Primarily used by the U.S. Marine Corps, the V-22 Osprey's main mission is to transport troops, equipment, and supplies for combat assault and support operations, whether from ships or land bases. It was developed to replace the CH-46 EC Knight, offering twice the speed, six times the range, and three times the payload capacity. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Liberty AE 1107C engines, the Osprey delivers a combined 12,400 horsepower. However, flying the V-22 is a complex task. After takeoff, its wingtip nacelles tilt forward, converting the aircraft from a helicopter into a turboprop airplane capable of high speed and high altitude flight. The Osprey's vertical takeoff and landing capability allows it to operate from both aircraft carriers and expeditionary airfields. 
Piloting the V-22 combines the challenges of both helicopter and fixed-wing flight, and it carries the added risk of vortex ring state, which makes it particularly demanding to fly. Eurofighter Typhoon The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine Canard Delta wing, multi-role fighter developed by a consortium of Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo. Initially designed as an air superiority fighter, it offers outstanding flexibility and efficiency with an agile airframe made from stealth materials and equipped with cutting-edge sensors. The aircraft systems provide optimal combat capabilities in both long-range and close combat missions. In terms of performance, the Eurofighter outshines its competitors thanks to its powerful and efficient engines combined with a low gross weight which gives it an exceptional thrust-to-weight ratio. Powered by two EJ-200 engines, the Typhoon can reach a top speed of Mach 2. Its airframe, constructed using composite materials, contributes to a reduced radar profile, enhancing its suitability for multi-role missions. Highly agile, the Eurofighter can perform extreme maneuvers, but operating it requires exceptional skill. Pilots must manage its advanced avionics, fly-by-wire systems, and high-G capabilities, making the aircraft demanding to fly and handle at its full potential. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was a long-range, high-performance strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. Recognized as the fastest jet-propelled aircraft ever built, it could reach speeds exceeding Mach 3 Plus and operate at altitudes above 85,000 feet. Designed primarily for Cold War reconnaissance, the Blackbird's cutting-edge capabilities placed it at the forefront of aviation technology. On its final flight, it reportedly set a record speed of 2,193 miles per hour, traveling from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C., in just one hour, four minutes, and 20 seconds. Powered by two Pratt and Whitney J-58 turbojet engines, the Blackbird featured a sleek, futuristic design with a titanium-intensive airframe built to withstand extreme heat and stress. Piloting the SR-71 required exceptional skill and concentration due to the aircraft's high speeds, intense temperatures, and complex navigation demands. The physical and technical challenges associated with operating the Blackbird ultimately contributed to its relatively short service life, leading to its retirement in 1998. Concorde The Concorde was a turbojet-powered supersonic passenger aircraft developed through a collaboration between France and the United Kingdom. Capable of flying at twice the speed of sound, it featured a distinctive tailless design a slim fuselage, and an ogival delta wing that enhanced stability and performance at high speeds. Powered by four Rolls-Royce slash Snecma Olympus engines, the Concorde could reach a top speed of Mach 2 and operate at altitudes exceeding 55,000 feet. During its service, the Concorde transported over 2.5 million passengers while consistently achieving supersonic speeds. However, piloting the aircraft required exceptional skill, particularly during takeoff, transonic acceleration, and landing. Its droop nose improved visibility for landings, but the delta wing design made low speed handling challenging. Additionally, pilots had to account for thermal expansion due to the intense heat generated at high speeds. Ultimately, the Concorde was retired due to its high operating costs and noise concerns, marking the end of commercial supersonic travel in 2003. Space Shuttle The Space Shuttle was a retired low-Earth orbital spacecraft system operated by NASA, and it remains the world's first reusable spacecraft. First launched in 1981, the Space Shuttle completed over 30 years of missions, marking significant achievements in space exploration. With orbiters like Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavour, it carried astronauts into orbit repeatedly, launched, recovered, and repaired satellites, conducted groundbreaking research, and played a pivotal role in building the International Space Station, the largest structure in space. 
The shuttle was composed of several key components. The orbiter, which housed the crew, three clustered Rocketdyne RS-25 main engines, a pair of recoverable solid rocket boosters, and an expendable external tank containing liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Piloting the space shuttle was an extremely complex and demanding task. Designed to reach orbits between 185 kilometers and 643 kilometers, the shuttle was launched vertically like a conventional rocket, with the two solid rocket boosters working alongside the orbiter's three main engines. The spacecraft combined the characteristics of a rocket, spacecraft and glider, making its flight profile unique. Re-entering the atmosphere and transitioning from hypersonic speeds to a powerless landing required unparalleled precision, skill and expertise, as any mistake during this phase could result in catastrophic consequences.